Hermes Halzan 25. Let's unbox this together. Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Clara Z and I do videos on luxury handbags and fashion items. Before we get to the unboxing, this part of the video has been kindly sponsored by Ana Luisa. They do affordable, ethically sustainable, everyday jewelry and I really love this brand because they are so comfortable to wear and so great for every day. So they sent me a couple of items in this box that I had selected. It came in this environmentally sustainable recyclable box and inside you will see that there are three pouches and I think I mentioned it before I love their pouches they are made out of magnets so so easy to use and great for traveling first item I want to show you is this heart necklace isn't it pretty? If you have been following me, you know that I already own the one in the gold color and I just absolutely love this collection so much and I wore it so much that I decided to get the silver version. Isn't that pretty? I really love that this heart is so puffy and really pops and it comes with this lobster clasp. It has a couple of hooks here so you can see that you can set it to variable lengths. So here it is on my neck on the shortest setting. Isn't it so cute and puffy? So the next item that I picked up from Ana Luisa is this pair of earrings. I love the necklace so much, I had to get these pair of earrings, right? They are super comfy and lightweight and because they're a bit puffy, they're a bit more 3D and they just have that little extra bit of a pop to my ears. So here I have it on my ears. Aren't they so cute? And I paired it with the necklace. I love wearing this as a set. They're so lightweight and easy to wear and basically go with everything. So the third item I picked up was this necklace and it is a cute little lock with these crystals along the two sides. It's so cute. So here it is close up and it comes on this beautiful box chain and again the class has three settings so you can adjust it to the length that you like. So here it is again on the shortest setting on me. Isn't that cute? I think you can wear this either by itself or layered. It's not heavy at all and so it makes a really cute and pretty dainty piece for everyday wear. So Ana Luisa is currently having a Mother's Day sale to celebrate Mother's Day where you buy one and get the second 40% off. So if you want to purchase something special, whether it be for your mother or you know of a special mother or even yourself or your friends, I highly recommend that you check out their site because the current sale is buy one get 40% off. And what I'll do is I'll put links down in the description box below along with the names of the items that I've shown you just now. I'm sure you'll enjoy these items as much as I have because they have been so comfortable to wear and practically go with everything. So now let's move on to the unboxing. So here is the dust bag and oh my goodness, I can already smell this bag. As you can see from the title of the description, it is the Halzan 25 bag and this is in the color fauve and the name of the leather is Berenia Fauberg. So let me take this off. And it has a little dust bag here so if I take that off it reveals the buckle. Oh my goodness the smell of this bag is so incredible. So let me come back and concentrate on showing you this bag. This is the Halzan size 25. This bag was introduced in the fall of 2014. It comes in two other sizes which are the size 31 which is bigger than this one and it also has a mini size is size 22. So based on feedback from clients I believe the 31 was too big and the mini was too small. So I think about a year ago they came out with this size 25 
and it is supposedly the perfect size. So I haven't seen too many unboxings of this bag online on YouTube, so I thought I'd spend some time to talk a bit about this bag and the history of this bag. So the name of the bag is called Halzan, which comes from the horse coat color. And you'll see that it has stirrup shaped handles here along the front. And this part with the buckle resembles the horse bridle, which is the part which directs the direction of the horse. So the color of this leather is called fauve. And basically it's a natural color of the leather. It does resemble the gold color a little bit. However, this is actually a Berenia Faubourg color. So Berenia is known to be a heritage leather of Hermes. It is a rare and high quality calf leather that used to be made for the Hermes horse saddles. So based on what I found on websites, basically it goes through a double tanning process in chrome and vegetable oils and then later on it's soaked in a mix of nine different oils throughout a five to six week process which gives this leather its final look as you can see here. So the original leather was was Berenia, which was a smooth leather. However, you can see there are grains on this. So this is supposedly the improved or second version of Berenia called Berenia Faubourg. And compared to the smooth leather, it has a bit more grains. It resembles the Togo grains a bit. However, I find that these ones are slightly finer. And this leather is known to patina over time, which means that over time, this leather will darken a bit. It is known to be more scratched resistant than the original Berenia leather and it is supposed to be water resistant and apparently according to some people who own this leather if it does get specks of water it will dry out nicely. If it does get scratches I've heard that you generally should leave it alone and over time it will blend into the leather. And another trait that you know this is a Berenia bag is that it has the contrasting white stitching and basically where it says a Hermes made in Paris, the stamp here. So generally, if it is a Berenia bag, the stamp will be debossed into the leather so that it's showing the natural color of the leather instead of using gold or silver lettering. And as you can see, it has gold hardware along here. And let's open this up. And inside the bag, you will see there are some papers and some bubble wrap. And this, I believe, is where the strap is, which I will show you later. And if I just remove these two pieces, you can see there are two buckles here where to put the straps through. Oh my goodness, the smell of this bag is so amazing. I need to just kind of stop and come back to this video. So the leather interior is basically the same Berenia Faubourg along here. And then this side feels quite smooth. It almost feels like a swift leather, although I'm not sure if it's swift on the inside of any of you know. Uh, please let me know if this is swift leather on the inside. However, it opens up quite wide here as you can see and it has the contrasting stitching along the bottom and at the back there is a large back pocket that stretches all the way to the bottom of the bag. On the exterior you can see that there are two pockets here at the front and then at the back you see that there are also two pockets on the back. So I really like that it does have so many multiple pockets so so that you can use that to put in papers, tissues, or even a small pack of hand sanitizer, which comes in pretty useful at this time. And so let's put some items in this bag to see what fits. And then finally, I'm going to take out the strap and let's find out how many ways you can wear this bag. I've seen online that there are six ways to wear this bag. So I put in two items that are relatively larger so that you can see. I have a full size wallet in there and you can see it fits no problems. That's my full-size Chanel wallet, although I don't really use a full-size wallet much these days. And I have a small Kindle that definitely fits in there, no problem. And in case you're wondering, it does flip over, no problem like that. 
in case you want to wear it this way. So I filled the bag with typically items that I would take out with me. So let me show you what is inside my bag here. And you can see that everything really comfortably fits, no problem, so no Tetris. Just throw everything in, which is really great. So of course I have my iPhone 12 XS Max in there, the mask holder, I also have two Bastias. There, one is the duo, one is the regular one. I have an extra battery pack, mm -hmm. and I have a large pack of tissues. And finally, I have a lipstick, it's Shantikai, and also a large bottle of hand sanitizer. In case you're curious, this will fit on the inside pocket here with no problems. However, I find that it was a tight fit with the case. So if you have a larger phone, perhaps it would fit, but probably without the case. Both on the front pocket, there are two, and also the back pocket, this will also fit comfortably, again, without the case. Oh my goodness, the smell is just so amazing. So let's take out the strap from the dust bag here and also as you can see it has the beautiful contrast stitching and it's basically one long strap and the strap itself has one hole here on this side and it also has a hole here so on both sides of the strap it has holes both for the longer setting and also for the shorter setting here. Let's move on to the six ways that you can wear this bag. So if you entirely remove the strap, you can wear this as a top handle bag. And basically when I put this through my arm, I can carry it on the crook of my arm, no problem. It kind of goes up to about here. However, you can hold it like this, or you can fold it over and wear it as a clutch. And if you wanted to make it super secure, I suppose you can put this buckle over and then secure it on this hole and put that through. And so now that is fully secure. However, for practical purposes, I probably won't be using this buckle that much. So now let's put on the strap and see what other ways there are of carrying this bag. So basically the strap was fed through a hole into here and into the center. And then there is something that looks a bit like a belt or a watch band strap to attach that. So I have that one side on the short setting and one side on the long setting. There is some extra strap left. So I just usually put that in there. So you can carry this over your shoulder like this and it hits me in between my hip and where my breasts are right here, which is a great length. Now I can further shorten the other strap. So this is the shortest strap length and I can also put it over my shoulder like this. However, it is more of a tighter fit here. However, you can carry it like this over the crook of your arm or you could use the top handles to carry it over the crook of the arm. I do find that this setting is quite short so I don't think it's likely I will use this setting because I can always carry this bag like this. So so let's change it to the longest setting. So here it is on the longest setting. So for a reference, I am five foot four inches. And when I carry that on the side, you can see my hip is here. So it just falls right below my hip, which is a good shoulder length. And I can also cross body it and it falls at a perfect length also right above the hip area it kind of sits a bit on my tummy so this is a great cross body length for my height and again i'm about 5'4". So personally, out of all the ways to carry this bag, I think I will likely be carrying this as a crossbody or shoulder bag the most. And from time to time, I'd probably wear it like a tote bag or on the crook of my arm like this. As it does require a bit of an effort to change the strap length, I probably won't be playing with that too much, but it is also very versatile because if there are occasions I need to use it as a clutch, all I need to do is to remove the straps and then to carry it like this. 
So it's no wonder why this bag has been so popular. Not only is the bag quite roomy, it also has four pockets on the exterior. And there are so many ways to carry this bag. And the six way are to carry it as a tote bag like this or to use it as a clutch by folding it over. You can also carry it on the crook of your arm like this or by shortening the strap to the shortest length or the medium length. You can also carry it as a short or medium length shoulder bag or you could adjust it to the longest setting and also use it as a long shoulder bag and also as a crossbody bag. So I think this is probably one of the most versatile Hermes bags that I've seen seen so far and originally my essay had suggested this bag to me over a year ago. She kept mentioning to me that a lot of clients find this a super practical bag but it didn't come in the colors I wanted until recently she showed me this bag and I think that it's also super special because of the leather which is the Berenia Forbo and as I'm speaking to you I can still smell the leather and it smells so nice. So I hope that this introduction to the Halzan 25 bag was useful for you. If you found this video helpful and you would like to support my channel, feel free to buy me a coffee and I will leave links down below where you can buy me a coffee. Also, if you haven't done so already, please feel free to like and subscribe. And finally, don't forget that Ana Luisa is having their Mother's Day sale where you can buy one and get second 40% off. I recommend their jewelry if you're looking for something sustainable, affordable, and for everyday wear. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time. Bye bye now!